you understand how it works, not everybody's going to like you in this world. So you may be loved by your family and friends, but there are a couple of people out there who don't care for you. Thanks. Now, and vice versa, there are a couple of people out there who you don't care for. If they pass, is it okay for you to speak your truth about this person or no? I say no. I say no. Um, the, the thing is, is where we ever in like good standings is it because everything like if you've always been my enemy and now that you passed you're gonna still be my enemy so i'm gonna feel that way about you till forever so i don't put that in the same situation as if we were cool and then we just had a falling out in a situation like that i don't think it's okay uh if yeah it's just i think if once you had love for somebody there's a certain amount of respect or love that should not pass or you shouldn't yeah. just throw away. So I, I think it's a two answer question. If I just don't care about you, then no matter when you bring up your name, I'll just be like, <laughs> but if it's somebody that I genuinely had love for, it's just that we had a fallen out in their passing, I'd be like, yo, that you can't hold on to beef when it's gone. So I'd be like, I'd be cool with it. I'd let it go. You? So, because of the type of person I am, I mean, once they pass, it's, I mean, like you said, it's over with. Mm. There's no point in holding on to this grudge. There's nothing for me to be mad at anymore. I just realized life is not promised to everybody. It's short. Why are you letting them occupy space in your brain and your heart if they don't mean that much to you, right? So... I'm not going to worry about it, deal with it. If me and this person don't talk, and if they pass, then, I mean, I'm not wasting my time speaking about them while they're alive. So after they pass, why would I waste my time speaking about them or speaking ill towards them or their name after they pass? There is no reason for me to do it. Yeah. So... I think it's very distasteful for someone to do that. Agreed. I mean, maybe they, some people try to make a joke out of it and they try to say, you know what? I don't know. I just feel like, no, there's a time and place for everything. If the person passes, even to make a joke like, oh, well, we were friends, but, you know, watching him was like, uh, Anyways, we're talking yeah. about the Larry King yeah, situation. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, I mean, you didn't have to say it. You could have just said, we were good, we were good, he was good. Okay. But, anyways, so, you didn't have to speak on it. That's just my personal opinion. So, like, the Larry King situation. A situation like that, that's very distasteful. You guys had love for each other. You had a little falling out. But my thing is, just, if you're going to be a real person a real you know just try to be as honest with yourself and live in your honesty if you have a pro the thing is with the, with the i forgot his name larry, larry david La yeah larry david larry king larry king, larry, king. Sorry. <laughs> larry david is from uh <laughs> Kirby 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 that's what i'm saying see <laughs> well and rest in peace larry king mind you yes. but but to the larry king situation there issue it, it's something he, the, the guy went out of his way to speak on it and that's the problem it wasn't as though it was something that you know someone asked how do you feel about you no know, he went to his instagram or whatever and wrote a whole situation and yeah. wrote that so that's why it is very distasteful and wrong if me and someone had problems for our whole lives from and now, yeah. i have no no, no, no respect, no love for nothing for them. And someone asked me about them, I probably will still keep it 100 even in their passing because mm -hmm. that's just the way I believe it should be. It's wrong, I know, I may be distasteful, but why wouldn't I speak my truth? I'm not going to say I loved you now that you passed when I could have stand you when you were alive. My thing is, why are you even asking about the person? You know we have beef. 
it's like asking 50 Cent and Ja Rule. Mm-hmm. Having interviews with 50 Cent. Hey, say something nice about Ja Rule. He's alive. What, like, really, what did you want him to say? Like, people, it's what they do. They're looking to start problems with people. Just like academics, when he'll ask those yeah. questions just to wedge people. What do you mean? Name something good about Jaru? You already know their history. Their history has been played out through music for the last however many years. But so, on the other hand, there's people like Chris Gotti or Gotti's brother mm-hmm. that they, of course, they all had beef, murdering had beef. He's able to at least say, um, Fifty Cent made great albums. He made great music. Like he still didn't not necessarily rock with him, but he's still able to be unbiased in his opinion of what he brought to the table and who he was then there's petty people like 50 Cent, who he's alive (laughs) like so there's there's different ends of the spectrum that's all i'm trying to say there's